Hey everybody, good morning. I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama, with my unwilling volunteer, Lacey, here. We're gonna talk about when your chickens have a dirty backside, they've got poopy butt. There are two different easy ways that you can clean them up, and we're gonna show you what we do. So there are different breeds and different ages and different circumstances in which you might have a chicken who's got poop on the back of them, stuff that's just been dried up. This usually happens with hens who are bigger girls, they're fluffier butts, but it can also happen if you've got a chicken who's been getting over an illness. It's summer, they're drinking a lot of water, so their droppings are a lot more liquid. But what we're talking about, and here's gonna be the shot, what we're talking about is where your hen has poop that is on the back of them and it needs to be cleaned up. This also happens if you've got a broody hen because she's not getting up and out and pooping while she's standing like she's supposed to. Chickens who are pooping a lot in their sleep, there's a whole bunch of different reasons why. But you don't wanna leave that on there for long. Number one, because it's unsanitary and it's gross, but also as it dries, it's gonna pull those feathers taut, the feathers that are there right below the vent and that can also make them actually start picking at those feathers because they feel it being uncomfortable right like if you get gum stuck in your hair close to the scalp you're going to start feeling that pulling sensation so since chickens can't really just pull off the droppings on their own right lace say hi lace so the first method is the quick and easy, like the quick and dirty method, which is the one I'm about ready to do on Lacey. And you don't need anything other than a pair of clean scissors. And what I recommend that you do is hold the scissors vertically. So I point the blade straight down. That way there's no way that I can accidentally poke her like in that sensitive area around back by her vent. And what I'm gonna do is not only clean the poop off, but I'm actually gonna trim the feathers. So if you think about poop coming out of your chicken, it's gonna wanna fall straight down. So I'm gonna trim that fluff butt so she's got more of like a fluff buzz cut going on back there. But that's the first thing that you can do. The, I would not recommend that you do this if the poop is fresh, like it's still wet on them. And I don't recommend that you do this super close to the skin. So if you've got some poop that's right on the quills of the feathers below the vent, you're gonna have to do the second method for that that I'll tell you about in just a minute. So real quick, and this is like super amateur videography here, I'm sorry. This is what she looks like before. And I have to trim her every couple of months. So we're gonna be trimming the fluffy feathers that are down below her vent. And if you look at her from the side, see how it's like a rounded shape of those, the downy feathers? We're gonna trim that and I'll show you when I'm done what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so that took like less than two minutes and let me show you what she looks like now. So from the side, you could see I made that shape a lot different. So it's more of a straight down. And she's not perfectly clean now, but she's really, really close. A couple of tips really quick and then I'll explain really briefly how we do the second method. You wanna get down? She's like, yeah, woman. So for that method, I would say keep your hands clean, keep your scissors clean. You wanna make sure that you're sterilizing them. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do that, but just keep the scissors clean, keep your hands clean. If you have to touch back there, use gloved hands, use clean hands, and you don't wanna be pulling at the dried feces that are on the feathers because of course that's painful for them. So as you're manipulating the scissors, do it in a way that it's not trying to pull the feather out you are gonna potentially have to cut through some small quills of some of those feathers that are back there, some of the down, but that's okay. And your chicken may get kind of agitated that you're back there, but again, as long as you're not poking the scissor blade at them and you're not pulling, it's just an uncomfortable sensation because they feel that weight there, they feel that tightness. So now she's gonna be a lot more comfortable and because I also trimmed the feathers to make them more flat going down as opposed to how it was before, that's gonna help for a good while to keep her clean back there. Like I said, certain breeds that stay fluffier, they're just gonna be more prone to getting dirty back there. It's not a sign of any greater problem if it's the healthy looking droppings. Um, you can look into vent gleet, which is basically like a yeast infection for your hens. There are certain diseases where their poop won't be right, the consistency won't be right. But sometimes, like Lacey's perfectly healthy. She's been, she's wormed twice a year. I just did a medical check on her. She's eating, drinking, she's laying eggs. She's great, she just she just got dirty. The other method super fast is that I would use a tub, the tub that I recommend that you have for your chickens as well as for your medical check, for isolation, for quarantine, whatever you can use where you can get your chickens feet and their butt in the water up to their vent. 
So this could be a Rubbermaid type thing. If you've got a sink that you can sterilize before and after using, you could use a sink, um, but you're gonna wanna use warm water. And then I always put Epsom salt in with my chickens whenever I'm putting them in water for any reason, just because it helps with inflammation and it's not gonna hurt anything. Your chickens are not gonna wanna sit and drink copious amounts of this water because they're basically just gonna be thinking, when can I get out of here? But the other method is to soak them in water for five or 10 minutes and then use a gloved hand to manipulate that poop once it's gotten softened. Um, this is particularly useful if you have a lot of poop that's like way right next to the vent, like it's so close you can't really cut it off. In that case, you really need to do a soak. Again, you don't wanna pull off the dried poop because it's gonna hurt them, it's gonna be painful. So so let them soak for five or 10 minutes until you see the poop start falling in the water. It's sinking to the bottom of that tub. And then at that point, use a gloved hand and just by feel and then by looking the best that you can, just be like, this is literally what I do on the feathers and it, it will get the poop to come off. You need to dry your chicken really well. You can literally use a blow dryer on low if it's just on the air setting to where it's not heating the air, it's just blowing air or towel dry them really well. If it's colder than like 60 degrees Fahrenheit outside, I would not let your chicken back outside until, um, until they're totally dry because those down feathers on their undercarriage down below them, um, those feathers are not waterproof. So they're gonna hold all of that moisture in until they're totally dry. But I have to do that with my bigger girls. You know, I notice it's not very often, probably every three to six months, I have to sit and do like the chicken backside salon out here and trim the feathers of my bigger girls. I'll say that my Wyandotes, I have to do it. My Java hens, I have to do it. My Bard Rock. I do not have to do it for Easter Eggers or any of my sex links or some of the more slender breeds. It just kind of depends on the breed. I've done videos before on chicken poop before you freak out and worry about if the droppings are normal or not. There is a good chance that your chicken is totally fine. Just like I said, if they if they got a big booty back going on back there, they, they're going to get dirty sometimes. So, But that's two quick and easy ways. Again, you want gloves, you want a tub that's big enough to let your chicken sit in it, and you want a clean pair of scissors. But keep your girls clean, and I'll be back soon. Thanks.